Our mission is to reinvent aviation in a sustainable way, creating a way to travel ecologically responsible, leaving no harmful emissions at all, neither direct nor indirect. All this while improving the economy of air travel and making flying enjoyable again, be it for business, work or leisure. We want to do this fast, not over a 30-year period. We want to utilize existing technologies on the brink of FAA certification. This way we can implement our five-step process over five years in order to become totally ecologically neutral, creating not only an aircraft that's economical to fly, but ecological as well. Even though an electric plane doesn't make sense at this point for a cross-country trip, when you're going A to A, you can use a MySky electric aircraft to be able to go fly, do the takeoff and landings that you need, do the pilot training, come back, and then put it on the charger. And by the time you're ready for somebody else to take that aircraft, it's going to be fully charged. So it starts to make sense within certain spectrums. And I think the airline industry is going to have to take those steps in the near future as it becomes a greater portion of the impact on the environment. So our first plan to do the MySky MS-1L is a fossil fuel driven aircraft that can work on biofuels, but it'll be a great reduction in the amount of cost. We can have a new Rotax 915 IS engine within weeks from now. We are using a very modern engine, which is totally different from what we use in the light airplane markets today. It is at least partially liquid cooled. Liquid cooling has the advantage that you can use smaller tolerances. Smaller tolerances means less loss in the combustion process. So the Rotex 915 uh, IS engine is a revolutionary engine because of the fact that it's going to use a FADEX system integrated with it. So the electronic fuel control will make it not only easier for pilots and more in the spectrum of what they're going to be flying when they head to the airlines, uh, but also allow us to be able to do fuel management a lot better. Then with the electric engine, we'll look into other options. The, uh, the way out of that is an electric airplane with a range extender, we call it in aviation. On the ground, you would call it a hybrid. So you have some batteries, you have an electric motor, and you have a combustion engine which drives a generator. The advantage is that you do not need a combustion engine all the time. For, small, for short missions, you can do without it. And the other thing is that combustion engine can always run at optimum conditions, electronic, electronically controlled, and because of that, you really can reduce the emissions and one other option that I have been interested in, in in the last year or so is the rotary engine. With a laser ignition, we would be able to solve these problems with one stroke. Uh, then we would have a clean running um, rotary engine. The, the step number one would, would be a rotary engine which we could run on, on jet fuel, which is available everywhere. We can have this lane be ready within two years from now. So a rotary engine uh, is simplified in the amount of complexity and parts, and in aviation we're always looking to simplify the systems. Also, the way that it can put hydrogen into the chambers and a patent pending um, variation that we have on the way to be able to ignite the fuels will be able to allow us to have an edge in that market. We've decided that Plasma Kinetics is a great partner because they have a lot of solutions for us that we haven't been able to find anywhere else. Obviously, hydrogen has containability issues, um, but with putting the hydrogen into a solid state form and then being able to release it using a laser and being able to throttle that uh, release of the hydrogen will let us be able to create the most efficient plane possible. And as those technologies come together, we can integrate them into a smaller airplane faster than any larger company can integrate it into theirs. MySky Eco has just recently made the move to a much larger facility. So this will allow us to not only have the space to be able to evolve some of the other engine projects we have, but actually go into full production on the MS-1L. And we feel that the MS-1L is in high demand right now by the, uh, the airlines for doing flight training and existing flight schools. Nearly developed hardware makes it easy to step in with new ideas and bring, and bring new technologies into it. It is, it is not a start from zero, but we are, start, we are starting on something which has already a history of flying and operation. And uh, it is always easier to just um, add new technology into an, existing, into an existing machine than to develop everything from zero up. And the truth is most people go flying for fun. And if you're gonna do that, you may as well be in the cleanest, quietest, safest, most fun to fly airplane you can. And the MySky lends it to that. And uh, a lot of light and small aircraft kind of feel like toys when you fly them. 
And uh, I love all airplanes because I love being a pilot, I love flying. Um, but when you're in the my sky and you've got like 30 inches of room and I'm 6'2 and you've got the side stick and you've got the full bubble canopy over you and you're looking around and you're in front of the cord line of the wing, it's hard to judge speed. So, you know, we're planning on being able to go like 150 knots with the current aircraft. However, you know, when you're up there, you feel like a jet pilot because you're out there in the, in the clean air and you're out front. And I think a lot of other people need to share in that experience. And I think the MySky gives a flight experience that supersedes most other aviation experiences.